Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer Is Best. I'm at GM. You can see his legs. <laughs> uh, I'm at GM1038. His name's Brian. Check out his YouTube channel, GM1038. That's Mrs. PIB. We're all kind of sneezing a little bit because the honeysuckle's blooming here in East Tennessee, and uh, we have allergies. Okay, I'm just. Check out uh, these wheels. 15 by 8 Corvette rallies. Check out these wheels. American Racing. Hey! Excuse me. Check out these wheels, guys. Fit uh, 20 by 10s, 20 by 8s, and uh, I'm, I'm Mrs. Pib really and Brian really likes this look. I like I like these. I I settled on these. These are good, but uh, Brian and my wife was saying Brian actually said this is a game changer, but. Uh, What do y'all think about that? <laughs> it's hard to beat American Racing. That those are, these are my favorite wheels, and then Corvette rallies and truck rallies. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with these too. These look really good. I might put these on the 1980 Chevy truck when we get far enough along. But I think we're. So we're going to, uh, I guess we're going to go with the 20s. I guess we're going to go with the 20s. Miss, my wife is a, my wife is half of our, uh, half of our decision making because we're a team. And uh, my wife likes these better. But I was satisfied with the truck rallies. But it does look pretty good with the chrome, with the chrome and all the, all the stuff that, uh, that's on the truck now. Anyway, we're going to do the other side and I'll get back with y'all in a few minutes. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> okay. Action. <laughs> That's Mrs. P.I.B. Here's what we got, guys. Don't Doesn't it look good? Uh, Brian, uh, he's going to explain more about this frame. Stuff that I didn't know. Remember this truck sitting on a, sitting on a 72... Chevy C10 truck frame and I've been told you know that it, the wheels would work they would not work you know I've been told all kinds of stories but uh we have them here on both sides and by the way I got these wheels at Ronnie Tyler's in Madisonville Tennessee but it, I'm trying to get in the position where you can see the whole thing there it looks pretty dang good doesn't it uh, I'm gonna let Brian explain so, if you have a if you have a '64, five or six Chevy truck, he's he's going to explain about the, about. You, the you, you, the you, you hold the phone. Oh, okay. I hold, hold it. You just talk. We well, may just look at the rear end. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the '60. Let's see, a '60 to a '70 uh, truck has uh, the rear end's about 60 inches wide. The '71 up. Uh, it's like 63 and a half so you've got about an inch and three quarters on each side that it's wider than what the truck should be in a 60 model if that makes any sense so uh, the wheels are setting out about an inch and a half further on each side than they should be if it had the 60 model rear end these 20 by 10s would be hitting your wheel tubs here on the back so you would have to widen your wheel tub basically that's about it in a nutshell all right, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he, he could have... See how quick he explained that? It would have took me 10 minutes, and I still would have left something out. But man, doesn't it look good? He's still... He's still playing around with the truck. There's a few things I'm wanting him to do. Uh, put speakers in the truck. You know, the radio works as aftermarket... Aftermarket uh, radio in it. And like I said, I... 
somebody had already cut it out before me, so I didn't feel bad about putting aftermarket in it. But the, having a hard time getting speakers to run, so I brought a whole bunch of speakers over here. We're, uh, he's kind of working on the electrical a little bit. And of course, he's put this new, uh, new, new to us. Let me say that, new to us. Everything I get used, except for those wheels and mechanical things. But uh, this is the, the new grill that my friend Waylon picked up. It's a, it was a painted grill, but it's been powder coated like those wheels we just took off here. They were powder, powder coated. But uh, I'm just really, I'm just really impressed with this truck. And, and Brian said this truck runs great. It's got a 91 Chevy, 91 or 92 Chevy truck engine in it, 350. It's still three speed on the column. But y'all let me know what you think about the wheels. I know I'm going to get people say, I like the truck rallies better. Uh, you know, and some folks are going to say, well, you know, I like these American racing better. Well, that's fine and dandy. I, I like I like them both, too. Honestly, I had a struggle trying to. I really like the truck rallies. But like I said, my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., she is a big part of this channel. She is my sponsor. And I mean, she she likes these wheels, guys. I, you know, so I'm going to go along with her. The thing is. I can always put the truck rallies back on, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like I'm getting rid of them. I'm not getting rid of the truck rallies. I'm keeping those truck rallies. But I gotta tell you, with all the, with all the additional chrome, remember this truck was not born, this wasn't born with any of this stuff. None of that stuff. So I mean, I think it's gonna, I think it makes it pop. The chrome tips make it look good. All this chrome. Pardon me? Oh. Oh, Brian just said if you didn't hear him, he's going to lift it up about an inch and a half in the back. It, so, with lift shackles. Yeah, just in case you want to know, he said. He's he's the brains. He's got it lifted up a little bit. This is what it's going to approximately look like in the back, because uh, Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop cut, uh, C notched it, and. Uh, it still hits just a little bit, so that little bit of extra play will make a huge difference uh, in the truck. I'm really liking this truck, and Brian was nice enough, you know, Tim put all that metal in, and he called me on the way over here and said, Jimmy, said, I meant to tell you to bring some, you know, same color paint for the truck, and uh, I said, well, I've done left the house, you know, we's part way here, and the store that I've been getting my paint at, the co-op, they're closed today, so... Uh, he said, I'll just spray some black on it so he's cupped it down the metal. And I'll go over it when I get it home. But I just, man, there's so much to do. But I've got to tell you, it's come a long way. And if I can remember, if I can remember, I'll try to include pictures in the end of the video of what it was when we first bought the truck, seen the truck, whatever. Y'all let me know what you think. And uh, I'm going to get out of Brian's way here. I might add more to this. Keep watching. I don't know. It depends. But uh, uh, it, it, in case I don't, you're watching Primate is Best on YouTube. My name is Jimmy. That's GM1038. You'd be wise to subscribe to his channel. And I'll leave a, try to leave a link to his channel. And uh, um, I'm on Facebook, Primate is Best. Instagram, Primate is Best. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And I'm on uh, Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. Y'all let me know what you think. I can't get over these wheels. It, it just really... It just really makes the whole truck look great. I just really like it. Y'all have a blessed day. And like I said, keep watching. I might add more to it. Y'all have a blessed day. God blessings. And uh, see you later.